not trying to take anything away from Sarah Palin. Um, she excited the campaign, the McCain campaign, like uh, wildfire. I, I think, and I, I, don't misunderstand, I think uh, they're, they're a little bit different. They don't have McCain on the ticket. A lot of people think there's not much difference in Romney and McCain. I happen to think there is, but um, uh, no, 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 no. The, the, uh, uh, not by any stretch am I trying to diminish the uh, enthusiasm Sarah Palin brought. I, maybe what I should better say is I was surprised. Conventional wisdom is that vice presidential picks do not really matter in November when people go in to vote. They really don't matter. That's the conventional wisdom. And I expected whoever Romney's pick to be to be a perfunctory thing that happens in a campaign and accepted as such the outpouring of uh, energy and enthusiasm for Ryan everywhere they those guys went on Saturday, North Carolina, um, in Norfolk, Virginia. By the way, how in the world did Romney secure the USS Wisconsin for a political event? Oh, that's Obama's Navy. In Norfolk, they got the USS Wisconsin to do their Ryan announcement. I thought that was cool. But the uh, reaction that people had was a huge, pleasant surprise for me. Uh, so I, it was, it was something that I marveled at uh, over the weekend, and it's got, it's got tremendous potential. But remember now, I've, I've been on this kick for I can't tell you how long. That particularly in presidential campaigns, we have got to talk about our ideology. We have got to talk about our principles. We have got to talk about our ideas. I think that's how you get the Hispanic vote. I think that's how you get positions of the minority vote. I do believe. And I may be a Pollyanna, and I'm, my time may be passed, but I still believe that, that a clear majority of people live in this country, want this country to be what it was as founded. They want it to be made up of those first principles. They don't want the Obama transformation. They don't want what Obama's doing now. Our task, the task that, that, that Romney and Ryan have is a delicate one. Many Americans think that this economic situation that we're in is just part of a cycle. And that it's just different. And they probably believe that Obama and the Democrats are working hard to try to bring us out of it. That's the challenge. The challenge here is for Romney and Ryan to convince people that are not supportive of them right now that this is not a cycle. That this results from ideas which are bad. That this economy, and they're doing this, by the way. Ryan's out there doing it. We can turn this around. We will turn. He's doing it. That's why I'm jazzed. But this is not part of a cycle. This situation that Americans are in, out of work, hopelessly out of work, hopelessly in debt, is the result of bad ideas. Bad ideas and bad principles held and believed by Obama and the Democrats. It's not simply part of a cycle. This is not just an, uh, a really, really bad economy that, that, that uh, uh, was longer to come out of this thing than anybody knew, but everybody's working hard to try. No, they're not working hard to try to reverse this. We are where we are because the ideas, the beliefs, the so-called principles of Barack Obama are anathema to the United States of America as founded. And when properly explained, they are anathema to a majority of the American people. It's ideas, ideology, that facilitates this explanation and ultimate persuasion. Sit tight. Coming right back.